Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to 3D Printing Dorks, and we're back uh, with another update video, so let's get to it. So it's been a while since we did make a 3D printing type of episode. Um, I did start a Minecraft series, kind of, but it kind of went out of control and I lost, I couldn't record anymore just absolutely boring and I couldn't take it anymore um, but now it's getting to the holiday season and this is typically the time when my 3d printing interest uh, come back and because like over the summer I barely 3d printed at all I kind of left these here and that's it but now is when my 3d printing interest is coming back and I'm pretty excited to start making a couple more videos so Lately I've been very busy, I've had a ton of school work, and I haven't had um, many, a lot of time to actually record videos and upload them and edit them. Editing typically takes the most amount of time, but I have like no time to do that right now. So the typical time uh, that I'm going to be uploading videos, I'll actually talk about that later. Um, because it's the holidays, and happy holidays to everyone who's celebrating. Um, their specific holiday, I um, will be receiving some new gifts and technology related stuff for these holidays. I'm pretty excited. So um, they might have a possibility to review it. I'll talk about some of those specific things right now actually. So one thing I will get which I'm really excited for is the Prusa MMU2S which is the multi-material upgrade. I've heard there were some troubles with it, but I'm excited to assemble it and figure all that stuff out because I want to actually do something with my Prusa. I actually personally thought that assembling the Prusa was my favorite part rather than printing. I know that's what it's, what it's for, but the assembly was really fun. Um, along with the MMU, I will also get a ton more filament. Um, just side note, my Lulzbot Mini isn't working excellently right now, it actually clogged again. Um, so I don't know if it's because of the filament, but my filament's really old and I haven't dehydrated it. I'm going to um, I'm gonna get more filament from Colorfab. It's their PLA, um, quite expensive, but I'm gonna do some tests with the old extruder and stuff and figure stuff out. Hopefully we can get that running. Second thing I'm also really excited for, I am getting the Oculus Quest. That's um, pretty epic. It's a virtual reality headset. I don't know if you know Oculus is. The the company and there's HTC and ton of companies but oculus is basically um, they sell many types of virtual reality headsets there's the rift which is the one that you connect to the computer um, I won't do that because of my personal space area I don't have that much space to connect it to my computer and um, connect the sensors up I decided that I need the more portability kind of aspect of the virtual reality headset but also the power so i'm gonna get the quest that's like the portable one um pretty excited for that also i've had some memory troubles not really kind of on um my desktop and i am upgrading to 32 gigs i'm getting 16 more gigabytes as right now i have 16 and that's going to be a pretty epic install i might make a video on that i'm not sure um it's a bit uh, hard to get like the camera in there so you could see because of the small space that the PC's packed into. But um, I'm also getting a uh, Samsung Tablet S6 as I'm kind of tired of, I mean, I'm not tired, but like my iPad right now is just really old and getting really slow. So I think it's about time to get one of um, an upgrade for that. So maybe I'll make a video on that. Not the kind of thing I would usually make a video on. But yeah, um, also a couple, one, a couple extras, I'm getting a um, gimbal for my phone, so if you don't like the stabilizer things, when we do make review episodes that are more um, serious, I guess you would call it, then I can make some nice uh, montages with the gimbal in my phone, as I have a Note 9, and the camera's pretty impressive. Also, as I might have shown before, I do have a G502 um, hero mouse and it's the wired one not the light not like the one that connects wirelessly but i love it it's perfect for me um but i am also getting the g502 special edition or se which i ordered a couple uh months ago a couple days ago actually 
um, for only $35 on Amazon. Not available anymore, it's just their special edition for Black Friday, but it's basically the same thing, but like with black and white accents, it looks really cool. Um, also, one other thing I'm getting, I am actually out of space on my one terabyte hard drive on my computer, so I actually am getting a um, uh, one terabyte SSD from Samsung. It's an external one because I don't want to mess with any of these storage things on the PC. Um, that's all that I'm possibly, approximately what I'm going to get, and I'll talk about those in the future. But um, some extra channel updates. I, like I said before, I don't really have enough content to upload for like at least one video per week as this uh, channel is more content heavy with 3D printing and knowledge and stuff compared to things like gaming where you can upload almost every day. I don't personally have enough time for one, gaming, uh, and two, to upload videos that often. Um, my videos aren't super long and they're not super content heavy so I still, I, even because of that, I don't have time to record any videos or edit them. Mainly, mainly editing because it takes the longest amount of time, but um, I will try to squeeze in the um, videos when I can. Also, I don't really have, excuse me, um, a lack, I have a lack of stuff to record, so I don't really know what to record, I don't have that many things to record, like, uh, I mean, I have a couple 3D printers, I don't have that many, I don't get sponsored by a ton of uh, companies to s send me 3D printers and review, because obviously I'm not that big of a channel right now, and no one relies on me right now, but still, um, that's why I don't have that much stuff for, to review, but I'm going to try going into more of that tutorial kind of area of 3D printing where I can teach you some things, for example, unclogging the video I made, dehydrating, although those videos didn't really do as well as my reviews, like my powder go powder coated sheets and things like that. But um, I'll try to do some unique things. I want to also do a um, fun little test kind of video with like destroying prints and seeing how strong they are, but we'll see. That's um, For me, that's quite a co content heavy um, area where I'm going to have to do a lot of recording and editing. So we'll see about that in the future. Um, I really do hope to keep the channel going as these last few months have been insane. I have had no time and videos have not been going out at all. But recently we have been getting more um, subscribers and followers and people have started to like my videos a lot more and like previously the powder coated sheets, we got a good amount of views on that which is pretty impressive. Um, hopefully we'll do good on this video, but it's just a regular monthly channel update. Also, um, like I said before, the Minecraft series is not continuing. That is not going to be a thing anymore, unless we do like some live streams with Ivan again and play some Minecraft. As now I do have a new laptop. I was going to record a video on it. I actually did record the video at my friend's house, and I was in the process of editing. But, but I don't know why. I've always had these errors. My... My uh, editing software always messes things up and it stops to work. Like, I don't know what happened. I had the video ready, I had everything saved, and then it didn't export correctly. I have no idea why. But um, yeah, that video unfortunately won't be coming out. Um, if I do have the drive to record a whole nother one of the review of this laptop, then um, hopefully, yeah. But let's see. Also, um, I really, like, if you don't know, uh, Prusa has actually released their Prusa Mini, which is the uh, their new, like, mini kind of printer. It's kind of like the Mono Price Select Mini V2. I don't know if you see it up there. Um, but it's better. It's a 32-bit board, unlike the 8-bit board on the um, Prusa uh, Mark III S and the Mark III. I'm pretty excited. I It's $350. It's half of the price of the Prusa Mark III S, and it's still pretty good, and... I'm, I'm kind of on both sides on whether I should get it because I've have so many 3D printers already in my opinion, and I don't really need that many more. Although my Lowe's broken and the Mono Price Select Mini is completely done because um, the bed actually, like the thermistor for the bed actually stopped working and it doesn't measure correctly and things warp all the time and yeah. So Mono Price Select Mini is out of commission. So um. That's pretty much it for this video. I really hope to do a 
upload more videos in the future. Um, as of now, we are about two weeks, two, three weeks until the holidays on the recording of this video. Um, so hopefully, I think sometime after the holidays, I do want to upload our um, next video. Uh, because I don't have anything right now to record. Maybe I'll do some fun things, but I have no idea. Still, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.